Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, um, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche? All right, listen, y'all. I hope you're having a lovely full moon in pisces okay um well it's officially tomorrow but this is what this reading is going to be about the full moon okay mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what we got going on we're gonna read out of this book and educate ourselves about this full moon in pisces all right i'm reading from the lunar living book you can get it off of amazon Okay, that's where I got this one. Um, but let's read about this moon in Pisces, shall we? Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. Okay, so let's get into it. So with this moon, uh, this moon is all about to, uh, to help you focus on your dreams and to believe in them. All right. <clears throat> Says the watery moon will put you right in touch with your intuition and your deepest emotions to help you navigate the way forward all right it says you'll probably feel the pisces moon building for days causing tidal waves of raw sensitive emotions this last sign of the zodiac will bring an ending to create a new beginning okay so like i've been saying the energy that i've been picking up there's there's a shift okay Things might be ending in your life. It might be freaking you out, okay? You might be feeling like, oh, am I dealing with karma? No, things have to be situated and moved around in order for you to be where you need to be. Got it? Good, okay? Um, it says, this is a moon of true healing as the gentle waters of the Pisces moon help to soothe, cleanse, and renew your emotions it says, if you can allow yourself to take a thorough emotional cleanse, find forgiveness, and look your fears in the eye, like I've been saying, this moon will be like a palm for your heart and soul. It's time to look fear right in its eyes and say, fuck you. <laughs> okay? As it brings deep insights, awakenings, growth, and answers. But especially it calls back home to yourself, all the parts of you that have been uh, shattered or scattered. Parts of you have given away to those who do or did not appreciate or deserve them. Okay, all right. It says, it's a homecoming, it's a completion. Mystical Pisces is a keeper of imagination and dreams. So under this moon, your imagination will be your best powerful tool imagination some of you you need to use the power of visualization okay right now is very important for you to visualize what you want for yourself what do you see yourself doing in the next two years three years five years ten years visualize this okay and then when you're visualizing it Start feeling those emotions of how you would feel once you're there, once you have it, once that vision of yours is become a reality, okay? Because if, if you can believe it and if you can dream it, you can achieve it, okay? Use it to help you daydream what is possible and what you most want from life. Pisces also has a wonderful ability to ro romanticize life. So you'll be able to create a world where all is perfect in your imagination. Okay. So now let's go to what this this Pisces moon calls you to do, or what it, what it's calling into you. Okay. It says you can't always control how the tides of life flow, but it is up to you how you react to them and whether you fight or flow with life. All right. So uh, something here is ultimately up to you okay it says if you don't like where you are stop treading water there 
Stop clinging on to old relationships, jobs, fears, and ways of looking at and believing in life. It's a time to switch some shit up. I also feel like since Pisces is a mutable sign, I feel like a lot of fixed signs are going to have issues with this. You got to go with the flow, baby. The flow of change. I know. The C word. So naughty. I know. But it's necessary. Okay? Change is necessary. It says, if life feels like a struggle, then stop swimming upstream and fighting against it. Drop the burdens of fear, doubt, blame, shame, and expectation resentment and guilt that drag you underwater let go let go and allow the flow of life to lead you to where you need to be this moon is like coming up to the surface and taking a huge deep breath of fresh air it's time for a change baby boo you got it in you i know you do what in the rhyming rhyme is going on? Let's look at the full moon in Pisces. Okay? Like the the this pot. Says this moon in questions it brings could have stirred up some deep emotion and a need to hide away or make some dramatic change. But that in its that in itself is a blessing. As the saying goes, you can't get to your future while your past is still present. Don't suppress. So if you need to cry, cry. If you need to scream, scream. If you need to punch your pillow, punch your pillow. If you um, feel like you need a change of scenery, go change your environment. Go, go do it. Okay? Let's see what else it has to say. Ciao. This is the moon under which to acknowledge resentments or hurts that cause you to act in certain ways, to find peace with the past, to let go of blame and a victim mentality, and ultimately to find acceptance and forgiveness in the present moment. This Pisces full moon is the last moon where the season turns and we move into autumn. So fall season's already here, I guess. Hot diggity dang. Um... So use the illumination of this full moon to look back over all of that has happened since the summer solstice back in June. It says the journey you have been on, the lessons learned, and what has challenged and changed you. So that's interesting. So something here about the month of June. Look back on where you were in the month of June, where, where you were at life. Um, what was your mindset? What lessons did you, were you learning or what, what were you going through then uh, at that time? Okay, because some of you, you went through some. There was a reason for it. Something here about this whole summer. Something about this summer. It started since June. Where are we? September? June, July, August, and now September. Something about the end of May. Oh, that was during that airy season. Or was it the Aries moon? Something like that. Anyways, um... Something happened in the summer where you guys changed. Something changed within you. I know what happened to me. It could be something that could have happened to some of y'all as well. Okay. It says the sun is in Virgo during this full moon. So the themes of Virgo, such as grounding, practicality, and, and analysis, will now be heightened by the full moon with Pisces energy added to them. The sun in real grounded practical Virgo will help you not only to balance out deep emotional impulses with profound understanding, but also your intuitive knowing with real action towards what you want to achieve. This is a powerful combination. Well, hot diggity dang. Okay. Yeah, so this moon is a, is a big turning point okay the big finale huh it's all about shedding the old 
releasing anything that does not serve you, tying up loose ends, and what you need to let go, pretty much. There's also a big emphasis on forgiveness, okay? So um, some of you might benefit from the Hono Pono something prayer, the Hawaiian prayer. I know I'm probably butchering that big time, but let's see. I'll do a link below. to a video with this prayer. Yeah, it's a Hawaiian phrase that is said to help with forgiveness, peace, and love. The phrase is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you, all right? It is said to help people acknowledge and take responsibility for negative thoughts, actions, or emotions that may have caused conflict. This prayer is believed to help transform these negative elements into positive energy. Some say that regular practice of the ho no pono pono prayer, I'm probably saying it wrong, can help develop self-love and self-esteem. Others say that the prayer is a miracle healing element that helps people take responsibility for their own emotions, feelings, and life expectations or experiences. I said that wrong. Somebody, somebody, something about someone's expectations. Um, lowered expectations. Listen, this is why I don't got no expectations for nobody or, or none for my life because I don't like getting disappointed. So... I feel like disappointment is like how can I say that hold on there's a need for somebody I don't know somebody here could be like making something tougher for them because they they expect something to go a certain way and then it doesn't go that way so then, and then they become they get discouraged or something there's a need for you to like not do that anymore okay Easy. Oh, pono, pono. Ho, pono, pono. What? Ho, pono, pono. I don't know, Joe. Anyway, so something about that is of significance. Um. Yeah. It says remember rah, remember forgiving does not mean that you are saying that what other people have done to you or where life has brought you is okay. But rather that you are no longer willing to carry around the burden of those hurts and emotions. So make a list of all the people you want to forgive including yourself. Okay? I'm going to repeat this again. Forgiving does not mean that you are saying that what other people have done to you or where life has brought you is okay. But rather that you are no longer willing to carry around the burden of those hurts and emotions. It's all about you taking this heavy load this fucking baggage you're carrying around that 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 you could easily that you don't need it's not it's it's slowing you down it's delaying you it could be blocking you from your full potential it could be blocking you from forward movement from achieving goals dreams aspirations you could easily take this bag of bullshit you're carrying around and drop it on the floor you don't need it where you're going, okay? It's weighing you down. There's a need for you to be a minimalist when it comes to how many fucks you give, <laughs> okay? Something like that is going on. 
Um, and I know this is not something that's like an overnight thing. Because that's not realistic. I understand that. But there's a need for you to start walking at least in that direction. If you're somebody who resonates with the whole having a hard time letting go and forgiving. Um, allow your emotions to... Oh, wait, it says, allow your emotions to surface. It says, this helps you to come out on the other side into the next season more healed and whole. Because as long as you keep suppressing or ignoring your emotions, hiding or staying in denial, you can't heal. And this moon is here to help you heal. I love this. Ooh, it's all about believing. It says, I believe in my visions and dreams. I believe in the voice of my intuition. I believe in the guidance and support from the universe. Ciao. So there's some things that you should, um, there's a couple things that you may need to watch out for under this Pisces moon, which is, um, becoming emotionally irrational and magnifying your fears completely out of proportion. Getting so caught up in illusion and imagination that you lose touch with the real world. And waiting to be rescued rather than taking action towards or to manifest things in your own life. Okay. And a crystal for this moon that could uh, help is agite for your emotional healing malachite for endings and beginnings or iolite for dreams and imagination i'm just going to show you what these are. i'm probably not saying it right so i'm going to just show you what it would it be saying okay all right Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm not going to do individual signs for this reading. Let's just, um, I'm not. It takes a lot out of me. Let me see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear right now for their highest good when it comes to this full moon in Passes? For some of you, you guys could do like a little ritual where you write down, you know, things you want to let go of and then you can burn them. Like, like write it down on a piece of paper and then burn the piece of paper like in a fire safe environment or in a fire safe way. Be careful, okay? Um, or you can flush it, flush it down the toilet. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Someone here? You guys have a lot of Archangels around you. Sorry, I'm trying to find my angel decks. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear at this time for their highest good regarding this situation? Something about, like, there's a need for you to get to know 22, 22 of the Archangels or something. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What do they need to hear? We have double mission. Whoever I'm speaking to, you, you're here having a double freaking mission child you got a lot to do it says the light worker starseed serve the world by being you hot diggity dang let's see what this got to say <gasps> dubal mission light worker starseeds are mission and purpose oriented Many have the feeling that time's running out and there's something they came here to do, create or contribute. 
they're here to grow as souls individually and also to contribute to the planet in some action oriented way so there's an there's something here about you having the reason why you have a double mission is because one part of your mission is an individual mission okay and that's something that you do on your own like personal way if that makes sense like it's a, your own personal mission and then and then you also have another mission where you contribute to a group of people a collective of people it says their collective mission is often answered through a career calling or by devoting their life to something bigger until they remember their collective mission it can feel as if something's miss missing or that they're forgetting something important it's common for light worker star seeds to feel that they're different and they may carry soul memories of being visible or sharing their voice as such they may protect themselves by dimming their light in order to fit in or by spending time in some sort of closet such as a spiritual closet if you pull this card you're being called to remember your collective mission and to step into it even more fully you're being reminded that your role as a light worker is to light up the world with your presence this doesn't have to be a great big thing or a decision you need to make you also don't need to have a great big plan if you resonate with being a light worker all you need to do is to work out what lights you up what are your passions what brings you joy and keep doing that it's that simple when you trust and follow the simple path of things that light you up and then lose yourself in doing you'll light up the world without even trying without even trying something about the number 22 is going on i could be talking to someone who's 22 years old or um maybe there was a something here that you wanted to do because you're really passionate about it and you could have been wanting to do it since the year 2022 but you never did it or since you were 22 years old but you never did it it's time for you to do it okay um you having children is not an excuse it says how can you serve the world by being you okay so this is where you're being asked how can you serve the world by just being you okay because for some of y'all there's something here that you need to let go of. Maybe you're like living your life for s other people or someone else and you need to not do that no more. Someone's name starts with a D. Tell me more. This could be you or someone else. We have cracked open. It says rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life. Well, hot diggity dang. Cook, 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 cracked open. Let's see what we got going on. Don't let the weight and des density of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call even more of it home into your body at the center front of your life. It's through the extreme pressure of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. Hot diggity dang. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is united. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, your sorrow, and losses make you, not break you. Hot diggity dang, yes! let life alchemize your tragedies into gold oh turn your pain into power turn your pain into profit turn your pain into purpose bitch you got this be open to being cracked open wide open it's the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds and i can contest to this oh can i contest to this Chow, listen, if I didn't go through the, 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 the certain trials and tribulations and, and the, the, the falls and the rock bottoms, I would not be the person I am today at all. I would not be as strong as I am. I would not be as outspoken. Chow, I wouldn't be as wise. Okay, let's see what else this has to say. 
Um. Yeah. It says leaps and bounds and in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, there they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell. It's nature's way. Whether you let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. When your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. A fucking men. Okay? <laughs> Amen. Let your trials, your souls, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibilities that your tragedies, your losses, and your sorrows, and your hurt happened for you, not to you. Listen, y'all, it took me a long time to understand that concept, but once you do, child, that's how you know you grew. Bless the thing that broke you and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Surrender the alchemy of life. How can you let life crack you open? Is a question you could ask yourself, child. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be either you already are an alchemist. Maybe you don't know that you're an alchemist. Some of you don't realize you're an alchemist. Either you are aware of this or you're not. Because I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're very, um, I'm really speaking to someone who's very resilient, okay? You persevered through a lot. And through your perseverance, you had to learn how to turn lemons into lemonade over and over and over again. Where you have the recipe pat down. You got it. Y you, you know how to turn, you know, a not so good situation into, you know something that's more palatable that this is a skill this is a magical fucking skill a lot of people don't possess and you need to be you know you should be proud of yourself also this is part of you know the journey of being a light worker having god work through you to help others this is what it's all about. You have to, like, I've been saying this. Let me keep going. You got to go through something to become something. You know what I'm saying? We have perspective. It says, none of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Look at how tiny that fucking planet is. You see? All up in the, look at, look at how small we is. So small. So tiny. Let's see what this has to say. Perspective. Perspective. Take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them. Change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. We are but a speck of dust. In the universe yet we think everything revolves around us we see the planet as ours to own and conquer pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for our eventual extinction we build fences and walls and create invisible borders mother earth doesn't need us to survive but we need her it's time to wake up a new perspective is urgently needed we become so lost in our individual experience that we don't realize that most of the things that kept us awake at night are actually distractions. We're wasting our precious time and resources fighting each other when we should be becoming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in the timeline of your life. 
this life is a fleeting moment in the tra the tapestry of your soul's experience your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the known universe and the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe take a moment to see the bigger picture i'm gonna cry why do i feel like i'm gonna cry <laughs> this is so beautiful okay um, to find common ground, to find deep compassion in your heart, to gain a greater perspective of humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline of your soul's experience or your soul's existence in the timeline of all of this, or that is, was, and ever will be. Okay. Ha uh, it says, how are you being called to change your perspective? Oh my Lord. There's a need to change your perspective. Something is bigger than who than what you think it is or something like that. Or there's a need for you to instead of you focusing on like if you're going to be judged for doing something or if if uh, you know you're going to be you know perceived a certain way because you're following what you're passionate about or what your what your calling is. Um, there's a need for you to change your perspective on um, it being just so you based and and change your perspective on like how is it going to help you know, humanity as a whole, people as a whole. It's time to clock into work. My light workers, my star seeds. It's time to clock into work. You late? I'm just joking. And there's some things here too that you guys could be feeling like maybe some of you are wasting a lot of your a lot of your time on things that don't fucking matter myself included i don't know about y'all but i do i scroll doom a lot at night and i feel like it's because <laughs> okay slowly slowly i've come to the conclusion that i probably have adhd okay because <laughs> I have been noticing like a lot of time that I've been spending with myself, I'm realizing that I do exhibit a lot of those behaviors, okay? Anyway, long story short, um, I do this thing at night which is called, I guess, like revenge sleep or I forget what the proper term is, but it's like throughout the day I'm busy and I'm doing other things and then I and then when it comes to nighttime I just it's like my body wants to like I don't want to go to sleep because I feel like I didn't have enough I didn't do what I wanted to do during the day because I had to do other things does this make sense I don't know never mind let me close this door Something like that is significant. Jesus. <laughs> something like that is significant for some of you. Okay. Maybe that's something you're dealing with too. But there's a there's a need for um what was I gonna say? Or there's times where like I'll like at night I'll start worrying about stuff that is like weeks and months ahead that I don't even need to be worried about. But in that moment in time I'm hyper focused on it. And my brain just whatever um there's a need to change your perspective on things like some things are not some things you don't need to like worry about or because they don't really matter in the grand scheme of things something like that is going on What's the bottom of the deck? It says deep cellular healing. We're going to read this and see what it's got to say. It says your body knows how to heal. Healing, your, healing is your natural state. Physical and emotional disharmony can be a reflection of how the world, the inner and outer, has been out of alignment. It says if you're suffering from a mystery or a chronic illness, don't allow yourself to think you've done something wrong. Today, it's difficult to navigate your health. 
If this card has made its way to you, you're being called to focus on your healing in practical ways, to prioritize your health, to be kind and tender to your miraculous body, to give yourself the grounding and care you need, to put your body first, to nourish yourself as you would a newborn baby, to treat yourself with tender care. You may be called to switch things up with your body or your emotional well-being, to call in a team of helpers to support you in navigating any challenges you may be be experiencing emotionally it says the arterians are a galactic group of beings who have mastered deep cellular emotional healing they want you to know that it is possible to feel vibrant in your body and well in your skin to have your cells return to effer effervescence and vitality to find calmness and contentedness to have soothe nervous system and a tranquil heart okay says i take back my vitality and energy and i feel more and more healthy each and every day my body knows how to heal my body knows how to heal so i i don't know you guys are healing something's healing <sighs> why did i go on a tangent okay so that okay i like this this is beautiful this is this is beautiful but a foe this is bit a foe What else do they need to hear spirit regarding this beautiful full moon in Pisces? What do they need to hear? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for their highest good. We have angels of healings are with you. So yeah. It's a lot of healing going on. It says, a time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. Okay. Tell me more. It says, open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. Okay. The number 22 is very significant. And we got two, two, two. You guys can be seeing that number a lot. It says, you are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You, <laughs> your bubble of light is as you can proceed with confidence. Okay. So you're protected. Whatever you're being called to do, just know that you're protected. It says, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. So whatever you choice whatever choice that you've made recently, you made the right one, whoever's watching. Okay. Get some of these. What else do they need to hear, Spirit, regarding this full moon? This full moon it says waves of healing. It says be open and vulnerable as this will initiate healing and harmonious solutions. Waves of there's a lot of healing going on. Hot diggity dang, I love this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look this up. Ragel, I think that's how you say this. It's a it's called Friend of God. Is the pearly white androgynous angel of harmony they work very closely with all of those who call upon them to bring an end to conflicts and challenges this powerful archangels archangel helps us to remember the importance of relationships and brings to our awareness the limiting stories of our family history that we can heal and change they work closely with michael and zadkel all are angels of justice who help bring peace, calm, and righteousness to the earth. 
Wow. Some of y'all got a mission here, child. It says, whenever Ragel is close, it means that you are moving through great healing. A wave of harmony is washing over your life now, and you can find harmony and resolution to conflicts, both in internal and external. If you have had disagreements with those around you, ask yourself what you can do to be more open and honest and how you yourself can show up with the energy or needs you feel you are lacking. This will help you to receive and, un and be understood. It says, angels are guiding you to stand down from fighting and arguing. Take a step back, call them in, and allow them to work their magic. Your heart is calling for a resolution of peace. So it is important to tune in and really ask that or ask how that looks and feels for you. If you're in a mental battle with what your instincts are telling you to do, know that your instincts aren't the holiest version of you, for they contain your genetic blueprint and therefore the limiting stories and beliefs of your family lineage. You are here to create a new, more advanced version of that story, one that is whole, healed, and complete. You are in process, but you are in progress. Oh, I like that. Okay. Hot diggity dang. Time to break these generational curses. There's something here about like somebody being stuck, being like, well, that's how it's always been. But it's like, is it working out for you though? Oh, well, my family's always done this. Or we, we all... Everyone in our family are nurses, so I have to be a nurse. Or um, everybody in my family is a carpenter, so I have to be a carpenter. Or whatever it is, there's a need to break something here. Maybe you become like a... Uh, instead of a carpenter, you become like an, an advanced version of a carpenter. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> I don't know. Or if you're like a nurse, you become a doctor instead or, uh, or something else. Child, I don't know. Something. Tell me more. Or, or you feel like, well, I've, I come from a family of, you know, people who are maids housekeepers and you you know maybe your passion is to like be a doctor maybe i don't know maybe you feel like you're limiting yourself because you're like no i you know i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all holy spirit holy angels or it's like the classic like oh i come from a small town so i probably can't achieve you know being on the silver screen or you know having a you know my album beyond the billboard list of whatever it's called i don't fucking know whatever it is it's possible you need to stop limiting yourself we have gabriel archangel gabriel has been showing up a lot divine emergence it is time to be seen don't be afraid of your power and your gifts this is what they want you to know do not be afraid of your power and your gifts right now. It's time for you to stop hiding your light. You you need to clock in to work. You need to clock in. And if you can't if for instance, if, if cuz we keep getting the energy of like innovation right some of you are being pioneers you guys are being the first to do something so if you're sitting here feeling like well i can't accomplish my passion or my goals or my dreams because x y and z doesn't exist maybe you're maybe it's because you're meant to true blah, maybe it's because you're meant to create it if it doesn't exist but this is something here that you're you know you feel like it's a blockage to what you're trying a place that you're trying to go or some something that you're trying to achieve maybe it's because you are the one who was chosen to create it, it says gabriel sometimes gabriel strength of god is the archangel who appeared to mother mary 
and announced the coming birth of Jesus Christ. When she revealed herself, her message was clear. Do not be afraid, for I am an angel of God. In those times, spiritual gifts and encounters were reserved mainly for men in positions of power, such as priests or rabbits. Rabbits, <laughs> rabbis. <laughs> so Gabriel was reassuring Mary. It says she is the angel of ultimate girl power and the one who helps us trust in our gifts, the divine counterpart of hope. She is considered to be the angel of mothers and good news because of her connection with Mary. It says you are blessed to receive this card today for it brings good news and energy to your world. You may have found yourself in retreat hidden from the world or only revealing certain aspects of yourself and your gifts because your past experience have left you feeling vulnerable and exposed. <laughs> Gabriel is here to help you move into a newfound space of love and trust. It says the world is ready for you and it needs you in all of your glory. Angels are here now to remind you that the worst is over and things can only get better and better for you. If you feel any resistance to emerging, either internally or from outer sources, know that it is only the final hurdle to clear before you ascent into greatness. Hot diggity dang. Any resistance is really just an opportunity to demonstrate how ready you are for the next phase of your life. You were born to own your power. Do not be afraid. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Hot diggity dang. Uh, And then we have Raphael, clarity of vision. Be willing to see things differently to initiate healing and experience wholeness. These, these messages keep uh, repeating. Ciao. Let's see what this guy says. Raphael. Raphael's name means God heals. And he is the archangel who is associated with health and healing. The book of Tabat, Tibet, relates that he once disguised himself as a human in a congregation at, and was able to heal a man on the side of the road from sickness and blindness. The sickness and blindness are considered to be metaphorical, referring to the idea that Raphael healed how the man felt about a particular situation and shifted his perspective it's for this reason that he is looked upon as a guide to help us heal on all levels physical mental emotional and spiritual spiritual vision isn't only about developing the ability to see spiritual beings or energies it's also about developing the openness to see things from a higher perspective with this card, you are being encouraged to see your current situation differently. This isn't about right or wrong. It's about developing the compassion and the composure to pay attention to the experiences and input of those around you and see things from a different point of view. Man, hot diggity dang. Right now, angels of light are flying above you, inviting you to look around your world through their eyes. Be open to the idea that even if there's a part of your life that doesn't make sense currently, there are greater workings in place that will lead to understanding and contentment. If you're feeling unsettled about a situation you care deeply about, realize that the real work begins when you move beyond the limitations of your instincts and trust in the divine plan that is, that is unfolding before you. If you have health concerns at this time, the angels are guiding you to be more open to information, feedback, and support. Hot diggity dang. It's time. Ooh, karmic release at the bottom of the deck. It's time to release what's holding you back and step into a more radiant self. Ooh, I love this. Ciao. Oh my God. Righteousness of God is the archangel who brings emotional balance and helps transmute any negative experience into a focus for love and learning. The divine counterpart of Amethyst. 
He governs a spiritual energy called the Violent Flame, a space that we can visit in meditation and prayer, and an energy that can be invoked to help us release from our energy fields anything that has been unsettling or traumatic. He is an angel of justice alongside Archangel Michael and Archangel Ragel. Whenever Zadkel comes to you, it is because you are shedding old skins and stepping into a renewed, more radiant self. You are being encouraged to detach from drama now. This is an opportunity to disengage and step away from anyone or anything that is turning you into a version of yourself that you no longer recognize. Damn. Angels are here to help you realize that everyone and everything on your path is an opportunity and sometimes it's an opportunity to say no and walk away that is the message today it's time to release yourself from anything that is an emotional and energetic drain so that you can be more your so that you could be free once more if you find yourself holding on to something you know deep down is causing you concern and pain this is an opportunity for you to take giant steps towards healing and growth. When you release yourself, you take a leap into self-worth and self-respect and then self-love. Angels are here to acknowledge the emotionally overwhelming time you've endured and to let you know that you have the chance to free yourself furthermore. Release the stories that are no longer yours to live. Oh. Maga, hot diggity dang. Okay. Let me do a little elemental. Let's do a little elemental and then I'm gonna end it, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What is going on? Let's do these and these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Let's start with let's start with the uh Let me see. What element should we start off with first, Spirit? Because Okay, Earth. We're gonna start off with Earth. Virgo came out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with the Earth signs when it comes to this full moon in Pisces? What do they need to know right now for their highest good? Lunar eclipse. <laughs> oh, this is so wild. Okay, sorry. Um, it says out with the old. Yeah, Earth signs, it's time to fucking take out the trash. Take out the fucking trash. If something ain't something not vibing with your life it's got to go let's see what this got to say earth signs is it here hold on hold on Lunar eclipse hold the power of, sev of several full moons all balanced into one. So <laughs> brace yourself for overnight change. Somebody's life is going to be changing. Like for some, for some of you in particular, you're literally, because I kept getting the word Dawn, which that could be someone's name or something here about the soap, but <laughs> don't have to be. But I keep seeing the, the word Dawn. So I feel like what it means to me that I'm getting that the, the energy I'm getting with it is like someone's going to wake up one day and their whole life is going to be different or something's going to change. And I feel like it's a good thing. It's not going to be like something bad. Okay. Since fate is flushing something out of your life now in order to make room for something new, something that's more aligned with your soul's truth, personal narratives may quickly reach their climax or consider or con or conclusion now or you may experience a powerful change of heart that sets you sailing in a total a totally unexpected direction 
Even if it feels hard to do, letting go of the past will give you the more space to step into your dream future. Okay? So you might just wake up one morning and be like, uh, I don't want to work at this 9 to 5 anymore. I'm going to go do this. Or you're going to wake up one morning and you're like, I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket and then you win. That's for some of you, not all y'all. <laughs> or you, some, something like that is going on. Okay? Something's going to change for someone. Out with the old, in with the new, earth signs. For some of you, if you have platforms, for some of y'all, you might wake up one day and then your platform just, you know, something went viral that you posted. And, and, or you get a raise, who knows, whatever it is, ciao. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What they need to hit this time? For my earth signs, what can they expect with this Pisces new moon? We have release. Oh, you need to release, child. See? It says you're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. So if you're hanging out with Sally Sue and Sam, who are always bickering, talking shit about other people, gossiping, um, always trying to create some sort of issues and it, and it somehow bleeds into your life, you need to cut them off. Sally Sue and Sam. Because you deserve to be at peace, okay? Something like that is going on. That's hypothetical. I don't know whose names that is, but <laughs> I can't. Oh my God. What else they need to hear for the earth shines? Yeah, let's do these. What else do my earth signs need to hear, spirit, during this time for this Pisces full moon? What do they need to hear? What kind of helpful information do they need to hear, spirit? For their highest good when it comes to this pisces full moon thank you it says focus on your mindset uh, on what you can control instead of what you can't the world is your oyster elevate your thought patterns so that you can attract abundance into your life you are what you believe hot diggity dang <laughs> i love this you are what you believe I am whatever you say I am. If I was it. No, I'm just joking. Let me stop. You are whatever you say you are. Doesn't matter what people are saying about you. Saying like, oh, you know, earth sign is whatever. Ignore it. You are who you believe you are. Okay. Let me do one more. Should I do this? Yeah, let's do self-care. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my earth, my earth signs need to know when it comes to this Pisces full moon? My earth sign babies. What do they need to know when it comes to this uh, Pisces full moon? Celebration. Okay, celebrate. <laughs> it says good times come from hard work time spent in good company so maybe you uh maybe you need to go out there and hang out with people or something go have fun child go be social celebrate your your accomplishments your small wins and your big wins there's a need to do that okay all right that's for the earth signs let's 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 move on celebrate do 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 what element is next air gemini came out air signs holy spirit holy angels what's going on with my air signs when it comes to this pisces um full moon? what information do they need to know what, what can benefit them spirit when it comes to this pisces full moon for my air signs what do they need to know what do they need to hear? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear for this Pisces full moon? Thank you. We got Taurus. You got Taurus and your Gemini, huh? Or not in your Gemini. Someone here can be a Gemini Taurus cusp or Taurus Gemini cusp, something like that. Don't have to be, but um, air signs. Slow and steady wins the race. 
Okay, maybe you need to, um... Maybe you need to get into the Taurus vibe. Who knows? Let's see what this got to say for the air signs. Maybe there's a need for you to be grounded, practical. Oh, yeah. Let me keep going. Taurus. Tor, tor, tor. Wait, hold on. Taurus. Sensuous and steadfast earth sign Taurus almost never needs to rush. And at the moment, neither do you. No matter what the outside world and its pressures may be telling you, moving at a more leisurely, leisurely pace can actually help you avoid sloppy oversights and keep you from tripping over your own feet. Channel Taurus slow and steady approach as you make any next moves feeling stable in your footing and confident that you're walking on solid ground is worth decelerating for trust that you've got all the time in the world because what's meant for you is meant for you channel the taurus energy baby boo get into the vibe you might like it okay because i like it <laughs> Okay, what else do my air signs need to hear, spirit? What else do my air signs need to hear when it comes to this Pisces energy? What do my air signs need to hear? Thank you. We got pay attention. It says you're being asked to pay close attention to the signs you're being given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. It says... The, these signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So there's a need for you to pay attention. Don't overlook these signs. Don't ignore certain signs. Maybe that's why you're being asked to, like, slow down. Because you're missing signs. You're going too quick. You're doing something too quickly or... To where it's like you're... If you just slow down, you'd see something more clearly or... You'll know exactly what you need to do or... Someone's name is John. Someone's name can start with a J, an L, a K, an M, or something. A T, or an E. Anyway, um, what else they need to hear? Should I do these? Celebrate. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, it's this one. What do my air signs need to hear at this time? Air signs. Some of you, I could be talking to some, uh, some of you could be astrologers or something like that, or you're studying astrology at this time. Some here about the, the stars and the, the movements of the placements and the stuff. There's something here that you're missing or something. Someone could be a stargazer. Or maybe that's what you need to do. You need to spend more time looking up at the, at the stars. Okay. It says, you're, it says you are doing your best and that is enough. Any difficulties you face will not last forever. Release the thoughts and feelings that don't feel good. Focus all your energy on love, happiness, and your hopes and your dreams. Don't focus on um, 
you know you feeling in inadequate or you not feeling like you're you know at your best or doing your best whatever it is my child celebrate do 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 okay so i keep saying this song during your air sign your read air sign so something you might be celebrating here soon or there will be something here for you to celebrate, but there's a need for you to slow down or to not miss something or to pay attention to something here. So you don't miss something or miss an opportunity. So I'm already, <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's going on with my air signs for this Pisces uh, full moon? What do they need to know for their highest good? Thank you. We have kindness. There's a need for you to be kind to yourself, I feel like. It says, be, uh, be guided by your heart. Let go of logic and rationality. I don't know, child. Time for you to be more kind. I feel like you need to be more kind to yourself. Or maybe you need to, you know, look at how you treat people. I don't know. Maybe you could be kinder. I don't know. Don't get mad at me. Um. <laughs> don't get mad at me. Okay, we're moving on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. <laughs> Whose element is next? Too many. Can I get one card? What element is next? Please and thank you. Water. Cancer came out. So, water. 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do my water signs need to know during this Pisces full moon? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. going on with my water signs what do they need to know for this pisces uh full moon spirit for their highest good what do they need to know for this pisces full moon for their highest good what do they need to know we got ascendant it says take things at face value okay celebrate okay let me stop says you may not want to judge a book entirely by its cover but you can get a pretty solid feel for its vibe by reading the back of it right the surface of a situation can tell you a lot about what lies beneath so right now take what's showing up in front of your face at face value versus trying to read between the lines the ascendant in astrology sometimes referred to as the rising sign is the point at which a chart begins and it symbolizes how we show up to the world whatever it is that you're being shown right now is probably a good representation of what actually is so trust your vision and move forward accordingly okay so you're being warned about them with this pisces new moon or full moon sorry um water signs if it looked like a duck, it's probably quacking like a duck. It probably is a duck. Okay. Let's do this. Some of you could be giving someone like the ben too many benefits of the doubt or something. Too many excuses. You might need to not do that no more. This could be something that you need to release. Maybe you're you're like talking yourself into like keeping someone around that you that that you already have suspicions of suspicions of, or um, you know, like this person's already kind of showed you the type of hand they have but yet you keep them around somebody here has a snake in their backyard and they're like it's a it's okay i'll just i'll set some water out there for it and some food and i'll pet it maybe it won't bite me it's gonna bite you so stop ignoring tell me more what's going on what's, <laughs> what's happening Oh my god, what's happening for my water signs? What do they need to hear right now? There's a you could be in denial of something. Water signs? That's for some of you, not all y'all. 
What's going on with my Pisces at this time? Or not this Pisces. What's going on with my water signs for this Pisces full moon spirit? What do they need to know? So that this could this reading could be for a Pisces. I don't know. Or you guys could someone here has Pisces highly aspect in their chart. Your rising could be Pisces or something. Pisces could be your rising sign. What the hell is going on, spirit? For my water signs when it comes to this full moon in Pisces. Thank you. Have faith, okay? It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. Exactly. Please, have faith that everything is going to work out for you. Have faith that whatever you're being divinely guided to do, say, create, let go of, is the correct way celebrate i can't i need to stop holy spirit holy angels what else do my water signs need to hear at this time okay something here about an eagle spirit there's a need for you to free yourself I'm also getting something here like you feel like something is a good vibe, but then part of you feels like, you know, you, you're allowing like doubt or fear to creep in, even though you know something's good. Don't self-sabotage, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do my Pisces need to know? Okay, what do they need to know when it comes to this? Because um, this full moon's about, you know, your dreams, your goals. Don't self-sabotage yourself from achieving something here or clocking into your life mission please don't you are needed and you are lovable what else do my earth sign need not my earth sign what am i <laughs> what do my water signs need to know when it comes to this pisces full moon hi hi, hi, hi. it says you wouldn't plant a seed and then dig it up every few minutes to see if it has grown so why do you keep questioning yourself your hard work and your decisions have patience stop overthinking and keep watering your motherfucking seeds because they will eventually sprout you just need to chill out <laughs> everything is rhyming holy spirit holy angels we're going on what they need to hear what my water signs need to hear at this time Oh, I need to get Botox. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my water signs need to hear at this time? What do my water signs need to hear at this time for this Pisces full moon spirit? What do my water signs need to hear at this time for this Pisces full moon? Oh, you got two, little lucky. Okay, so we have validate your past. It says you did the best you could. Feel and empathize with your past, not judge it. Okay, so there's a need to, to stop judging yourself and to allow love, okay? Look at the situation from a point of view of love, okay? And then we have obsession. Love and understanding. Something here about love and understanding. It says focusing too much on one situation, the need to step back or the need to take a step back. So you guys could be obsessing, obsessing over something here in the past that happened and there's a need for you to let that go. For some of y'all, there's something here about, like, for some of you, you guys could be holding on to a past hurt or resentment, okay, that you need to let go. Or you need to accept something for, for what it is. It is what it is. Because with the whole first energy coming out with take things at face value, it's like, if someone here is not showing you that they're loyal to you or that you could trust them, maybe you shouldn't, you know, sit here being like, well, maybe one day, no. No. It is what it is, is what I feel like needs to be said. Um, I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or this could be like even at the workplace. Maybe you feel like, well, if I work harder or if I impress, you know, my, my direct supervisor, maybe they'll put in a good word for me and I can get that promotion and da, 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 da. But you've been doing this job for 10 plus years and you haven't seen any any you know improvement or upgrade in your in your 
in your job like you haven't gotten you know promoted or something like that forever something's a dead end something somebody needs to something here about acceptance i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all like somebody here has a they have a, a a dream killer somewhere around them and you don't even realize this person or maybe you no, that's not the problem you do realize that's the bigger problem you whoever this this part is for of this reading from my water signs you know who is the kill the dream killer in your situation But it's like maybe you have history with this person. That's why you're not releasing them or letting them go. This could be a weird ass friend you have that they need to leave. Oh, I did this already. Or you think you have like a, a cool co-worker, but they're not cool with you at all. Someone needs to be someone someone or a situation, a job or something needs to be let go in order for you to uh go where you need to go. Damn water signs. Okay, last but not least, fire signs. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on with my fire signs? What do they need to hear for this Pisces full moon for their highest good? Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on with my Pisces? Oh not my Pisces. <laughs> what's going on with this Pisces full moon for my fire signs jesus what's going on with the fire signs thank you saggy okay so we have sagittarius we have shoot for the stars fire signs it's what you're being asked to do to shoot for the stars <laughs> okay let's see saggy saggy you probably need to channel this the saggy energy get into this saggy the essence of a sag let's see Sagers, Sagers. There we go. It says, if you had zero limitations and nothing standing in your way, what would you hope to achieve? The free-spirited and happy-go-lucky sign of the Sagittarius wants you to connect with your greatest aspirations and banish all barriers to your independence. Make like the cosmic archer and aim your bow and arrow straight up at the sky toward your loftiest goals and wildest dreams. Quit worrying about, about the what ifs or doubting your luck. Right now, the universe wants you to take a leap of faith, baby boo. Be spontaneous and follow your excitement. You'll be rewarded by landing on your motherfucking feet fire signs what are you waiting for huh what are you waiting for oh my god this is beautiful what's going on with my fire signs what they need to hear when it comes to this beautiful ass situation it's beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let me slow down. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my fire signs for this Pisces full moon? What do they need to know right now for day high school? Healing. Okay? Says your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Okay. So you, you're experiencing a lot right now, emotionally, mentally, physically, energetically, all types, okay? Be gentle on yourself. Allow yourself to heal. But you also need to be shooting from the motherfucking stars, okay? You need to shoot for the stars. What else? What else they need to hear? Go after your dreams. Stop doubting what you're capable of stop putting imaginary limits and restrictions on yourself there's a with the sagittarius energy here too it's like there's a need for you to change how you're perceiving something or, or what you believe about yourself or you know what's possible what do you believe is possible because like the first line it said 
um what what would you achieve or something like that if you if there were no perceived barriers right what does it say let me get the right wording so i don't sound dumb it says if you had zero limitations and nothing standing in your way what would you hope to achieve so if you had nothing standing in your way what what would you do what would you accomplish what would you like to create if there were nobody standing in your way, nothing standing in your way, as in there was no, you know, for some of you, it could be resources that you feel like is standing in your way of your dreams. What, what if then that was taken care of? What would you, what would it be? Or it's like a location problem. Say like, oh, I can't be a surfer. I, I live in Wyoming. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, you got to figure it out. Holy Spirit, only angels. What do they need to hear at this time? What do my fire signs need to hear at this time for their, um, when it comes to the, gosh, diggity dang. What's going on with my fire signs? What do they need to hear for their highest good when it comes to this Pisces full moon spirit? What do they need to know for their, high, for their highest good fire signs? Thank you. Oh, you got two. Nice. It says, trust yourself more. confirmation know that you are in the right place at the right time opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to all in divine timing get excited about the future again instead of fearing it get excited you got this baby boo it says learn to ride the waves of life when faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is it to be gained by, de by depleting your energy and fighting against it? You might as well just go with a flow. Don't do that to yourself. Don't fight against the change. Go with the flow, baby boo. I don't know, but um, there's a little birdie out here. I don't know if you can hear it. You guys could be getting a lot of messages from birds right now. I don't know. Or you need to pay attention to the type of birds that you be seeing. Can you hear this motherfucker? Oh, now he stops. Okay. Oh, convenient. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my fire signs need to hear when it comes to this Pisces? Full moon. You have release expectations. Okay. It says. Do not focus on the money aspect of your dreams. Abundance will come at the right time. Stop focusing on it. Whatever you focus on, sometimes it runs away. If, you, if you're wanting something so badly, it will run from you. This is the hardest thing I had. Th that was the biggest. That was the hardest thing I had to learn. Okay? These expectations, you got to let go of them. I know for some of y'all, it doesn't feel logical to do so, but it's the truth. You got to do it. I'm telling you from experience. Okay. Lowered expectations. Tell me more. Lower your expectations. Like, even when I manifest, that's how I... That's how, you know, a lot of my manifestations come in quickly is when I have, you know, lowered expectations about them, you know, the outcome of them or, you know, when it happens or whatever, right? Like, I'll just take my, you know, situation for example. Like when I wanted, when I was like at, I think... Was it I, I think I was at 6,000 subscribers or 3,000? One of them. No, I think it was 6,000. 
no i was at three thousand and i was like i basically was trying to manifest like ten thousand subscribers by the end of that year and i ended up yeah, having way more by the end of the year i think i had in one year it grew to like I don't, I'm not sure, 60, 60K, I think, 60,000 subscribers. So whatever I, I manifested, it I got like fucking triple that. Well, that's because I lowered my expectations. Does that make sense? Instead of me sitting here being like, I want to have a bajillion subscribers and I expect it to happen in three months, you know? Instead of doing all that, it's like, there's, there, I don't know, there's a need for you to like, lower your expectations or something i don't know some be more reasonable with something be more practical with something be more um and then also as well like put it in your mind that even if it doesn't like if you don't like for instance like in my situation like even if i didn't reach ten thousand at that at that end of the year you know for what my you know what i was trying to manifest I, I was even like okay with it. I was like, it's okay. If I don't even reach that much, that's fine. You know, it is what it is. I'm letting it go. I'm putting it in the hands of God. You know, God, this is for you. Do what you need to do. And I don't know, there's something about letting go of something. Letting go of how you like want it to come or how you want it to be or how you want something to materialize. There's a need to let go. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, so look, let's not yeah all right this is gonna be the end of your reading i love y'all um don't forget to like comment share subscribe until next time i love you okay bye